Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Let's Play Rogue Legacy. So let me choose my air here. Um, hopefully I have something decent. Well, I do have a... I don't want a dwarf. Bold, sweary assassin. Yeah, I'll go with that. I'll keep the lifesteal up. I will actually increase my crit chance by quite a bit. Even though it costs so much money. And then I will... I don't know, I don't need the blood sword. I do have a new sword that does more damage by a lot, by a fair amount. And it's minus 10 equipment load. Doesn't cost that much. Okay. So I will equip the sky sword. I also have the imperial helm, which doesn't have any specific properties, but gives you a lot of mana, so I'm not interested. Hmm. I have the sky chest, but I need 10 more equipment load. Retribution limbs. What's this? One additional siphon. Don't really want that. So what I'll do is get 10 extra equipment load because I need it. Increase my attack some more. And then go ahead and equip that sky chest for extra armor. Yep, okay. And then I have 5,000 remaining. I had to buy it too, which is why I went back and forth there. So then I will increase my crit chance and increase my magic. Lovely. So unfortunately I won't get extra treasure with this setup, but I will have a fairly high chance of critting, and um, actually I maybe should have dealt with runes there. And decent lifesteal like I normally do. And I should be able to clear out the castle with a fair amount of ease. Well, I'm hoping anyways. <laughs> no you fucking don't. Whoa. Man, that was really a fucking try-hard room in terms of surprising me with damage early in the game. I don't have PAD anymore, which kind of sucks, but I don't have to fight Hero Dotus, so it doesn't really matter. Anyone can see, it doesn't really matter to me. Fair amount of treasure here. I wish I had PAD still. I wish I could, like, breed my children to have certain conditions, or to more often have them. That'd be really cool. Like, if I took lots of shinobis, shinobis would appear often. I'm uh, not actually interested in dealing with that room. Although I will probably have to again. Remember, I can use my invincibility spell in order to get fairy chests and to avoid rooms if need be. That crit damage is so good. Still not that much better than the shinobi base damage though, and I have found the Maya. Or well, I assume the Maya. Remember, some awkward shit happened recently with the map. Two episodes ago, I think it was. Recently for me, because I'm still on the recording binge with Yesik week, and I'm still really pissed about all that because I prefer being kind of up to date, you know. Ow. You know how it is. Ow. Fuck. Okay, so I took a lot more damage there than I should have, but at least that's going straight up and down, so it shouldn't be a problem to deal with. And I do want to go and get this treasure. Don't you fucking shrook in me. Sure you can. Sure you can. I like how I'm sure you can, like, from Street Fighter sounds like sure you can. Oh, fuck. Wow, I'm just taking damage left, right, and goddamn center here. Should probably improve that fairly shortly. I did have a fair amount of damage up with this round, so shouldn't be too hard to do. Oh, it's spikes at the bottom. I should have known. I should have known. That my name was Sloan. Yeah, I should have known. If that is my name. Yes, Zeke, if that even is your name. Could be. Apparently, Yesik is a Brazilian name for a girl. I didn't know that when I chose it as my pseudonym, but I look up other Yesiks online and they're all girls from Brazil, so. Maybe it sounds like something in Brazil, and that's why it's considered feminine? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know my Portuguese very well. Do you guys know your Portuguese very well? If so, I'm kind of jealous. I, I was in Capoeira, and they would always make fun of my Portuguese pronunciation because I had such a French accent that I would say everything like a fucking Frenchman all the time. If I speak Spanish or Portuguese, I have, like, the heaviest, thickest French accent imaginable. Which sucks, because I don't even speak French all that well. I'm just dying. I'm not even dying with style, I'm just dying. 100% death all the time. 
what else is in the Teaches of Peaches? Probably some more death, really. Okay, so this is a Doombus. This is... Oh, God! It's these fucking dogs that are fucking me over. Fortunately, I got a crit there. I really need to get some kills without taking damage. Perfect. Perfect. Two kills. Now I can probably survive a hit. Yeah, just shoot me, guys. I'm good with it. As long as you constantly shoot in a rhythm. Okay, so I'm doing a bit better now. I'm unlikely to die this room anymore, at least. Oh, fuck. So, so used to being the shinobi that I, I keep just running into people after doing some damage. There we go. And I do often kill with one hit, I just don't constantly kill with one hit anymore. Which is kind of confusing me. There we go. Did that at least decently, if not in a pro fashion. I never claimed to be 360 MLG fucking rogue legacy player. Although I'm decent at platforming, I'm, I'm fairly good at it. I would say. Although platforming and fighting at the same time adds like a new level and eh, at that point, maybe not so good. But I'm almost back up to full health. I kind of managed to distract myself from how much I was sucking, which allowed me to stop brooding on how much I sucked, which allowed me to kind of get some kills without taking any damage. But now that I'm talking about it, this fucker and his goddamn jabs. Always taking jibes at me. Jabs and jabs, jibs and jabs. Jib jab jib wop. Shoop up, blow up, but up, but up, shoop it up. I don't know what I'm talking about. Just doing some scat now. And I'm real bad at scat too, unless I'm actually scatting along to a song. And still it reminds me of fucking shit porn. And I do not like that scat does that. And I mean the legitimate musical term. Fortunately he got stuck there for a tiny bit, because my reaction was nowhere near what it needed to be to actually kill that dog. Oh, man. Gotta calm down. Are you gonna jump? Are you gonna jump? Okay, needed two hits to kill him. I'm still at fairly high health, so I'm decently happy with how I'm doing so far. You know what was surprising? I did not get an orable last run. That's what, what surprised me. I was like, there doesn't seem to be much. What I was really hoping for was an orable. Is this? This is just a path. Get some extra health. Should probably improve my potions at some point. Impop my potions. I think I have an over 50% chance of actually critting right now, which is pretty much exactly where I want that to be. I'm going to avoid killing anything in here because I don't have to. And I cannot get the treasure in there. And this is a fucking mimic. That was an asshole mimic too. It was in a room that had treasure, so it almost distracted me into thinking it was treasure. It almost convinced me it was actually treasure. Let's put it that way. God fucking die! God fucking die. Um, that's not... that's theocide? No, I forget. There, there's a term for killing gods. Deicide. Yeah, that's the one. Leave it to the human race to, um... To make things, make up words for things that do not even exist. I, I love that actually. Like, um, Thalmaturgy? That doesn't actually exist. I wish Thalmaturgy existed, but it doesn't. I like it. Like it a lot. Thalmaturgy, by the way, being the, um, the practice of magic. I think. Yes, yes it is, yes it is. I do not think I know that. I know that for a fact. And over here I go. Hi ho, hi ho, it's over here I go. Too bad this hoe is way too high. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. And get this treasure, since this fucker is just kind of dicking around. Not even doing it very fast. Dicking around is another one of those things that makes me think dicking around at the speed of sound constantly. Oh, two of them, huh? Oh, three of them. Wow, pretty intense. Ow, okay. Didn't expect you to be right there. 
and took slightly more damage than is entirely acceptable there, but there are three treasure chests in here. That's a great room. That is a really good room. I like that a lot. I like it so bad. Back into here. Can probably get out before that even starts firing. Indeed. Indubitably. Oh, fuck. I was really afraid he was going to throw a ninja star at me at the absolute non-perfect time. But everything turned out for the best. Ow. Except for that. At least I managed to des destroy the spike ball. You know what I... You know me and spike balls. Fucking hate them. Worst thing ever. Ever, even. I, I would go as far as to give them an ever. Fucking spike balls. Why are you so everywhere? Probably because they hate me. I, I see. I kind of get their point. I would hate me too if I were them. You know, hating somebody for hating you. Kind of a vicious cycle, really. Even if the first person stops hating them, they'll probably start hating them again for hating the person. That's a lot of hate. Whoa! <laughs> okay, guys, I gotta explain what just went on. I dropped my ball mouse, and I went to grab my ball mouse, and instead of grabbing the ball mouse, I grabbed just the ball, which is the part that I usually lose. So th that was fucking perfect. Sorry, well, one second here while I reset everything. That was hilarious. Well, maybe it wasn't to you. I, I wish I could have. I wish I was doing like a face cam for that shit. That would have been ridiculous. Get the hell over here. This is that try hard room that I remember. It was just like, I really want to do damage to this guy. I'm an early room. I don't think I have a chance. I want to prove myself to all these other rooms who think I'm just fucking around. There we go. Got through there rather easily. I can kill things here in one hit, which is a huge plus because I'm going to get back to full health rather easily. Unfortunately, I haven't actually dealt with the hardest section in the game yet, or the hardest in quotation marks. Like I said, I usually find the Maya actually tougher than hell. Ow. And apparently I often find this place really tough too, because I'm doing real bad. Oh well. Better now. Got some extra gold. Already up to almost 10,000, so... I'm getting good hauls every time here, and there is a second treasure chest here. It's like a double treasure chest room. It's almost as good as that triple treasure chest room from the past. Ow. Oh, it's a special this doom. It's a doom scape, I should say. There we go. You weren't so tough. And back up. Got to get back up and down with the sickness as I normally do in this game because I say down a lot in this game or I've got to get down and it just fits really well with sickness. There we go. What I really need to find is the next two orbals. So you'd think I'd be able to do that. I'm assuming there's going to be spikes. Indeed, actually, that didn't matter because I have the Hermes boots. They actually prevent me from taking damage by walking on spikes. Or on spicks, for that matter. Spicks no longer damage me. Unfortunately, there's no spicks. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. That's a racial slur. I just remembered that. I apologize. Um, I'm going to have to, like, fucking annotate that to be, like, I didn't realize what I was saying. I apologize. I, I was thinking like um when I said when I said that I was actually thinking um, Fucking what's it called? Um, I, I was thinking like spits like spit, you know like things that you skewer skewers I was thinking skewers or barbecue spits not the yeah, not, not the horrible horrible racial slur that actually ended up coming out Oh well, shit happens. I'll make sure that people are well aware that I fucked up there. That I done goofed and I didn't do it on purpose. Yeah, there we go. I've managed to kill those and I can get off this awful, awful subject. There we go. I love those guys because they give me so much health and they are so easy to kill in most situations. Again, I like to end those sentences in both situations because it, it kind of gives me a buffer against immediately taking damage from them as I normally do when I say they're easy. No, you don't. Goddamn red eye. Pink eye. 
I understand your pain, but it's no reason to be crying blood at me. Come on, yeah! Ponce de Leon's orbital. Take no damage. So I used up pretty much all my goddamn, um, all my goddamn, you know, what it's called, MP to do that. But I always find those things are easier on the way back than on the, there's another one. I don't want to give up my orbital. I just don't want to do it. I just want to get money. This is a get rich quick scheme, not give up my orbital scheme. There we go. They always have the exact same timing before they fire. So pretty easy to predict, all things considered. That I can just get through. This I can just kill. Whoa. I don't like that at all. Jesus, this fucking room. Okay, I died there. Um, but you know what? That was actually a fairly long run, and I know I didn't fight any bosses this time, but I did get myself an Orble. I will spend my money, and then... Do I have a Hokage by any chance? No, but I do have a Barbarian Queen. And an Assassin. Dementia. Space Dementia? Conduct Electricity. I don't know what that does. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Indubitably. I'll actually buff up my attack a bit, as well as my health, because that affects everybody. And my health once more. And I will thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, even though it was a bit shorter than the last one. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.